Welcome back to our channel. Please subscribe and like. Let's is a must. Jacqueline Wilson. We're starting at chapter two. I didn't say a word when I had my breakfast. I didn't say a word when I got washed and dressed. I didn't say a word when I packed up my books and my carrots and my sticker and my third suitcase bag and my washing tape. And my hairbrush, and all my underwear, and my T-shirts, and shirt, and corset, and jumper, and my diaper coat, and my wearables. I didn't even say a word when Mom drew my old cozy dressing gown and last year party dress on my school uniform in the ribbons washed me bin. Mom said that my dressing gown was all standing, standing, and my party dress was so small it showed my knickers. Ah, and I be going to a new school after the summer holiday with a different uniform. I felt fancy and small and different in the car. With Sam and Rory and Jack, they come to fetch us and help us with all our luggage. It's going to be lovely living in a house instead of that creamy little car," said Mom. "Won't it be great to have a garden, Lizzy? You can play football with Rory. Well." I usually play football with the boys next door," said Rory. "But I suppose Lizzie can join in if she wants." I didn't want, but I didn't say anything. "You're like the swing," Lizzie said. To "Mom, imagine have your own swing." "It's my swing," said Jack. "But." You won't mind sharing it with Lizzie, will you? Said Sam. Jack looked as if he minded a lot. I didn't want to go on his silly old swing anyway, but I didn't say anything. I don't have to share my bedroom with Lizzie, do I? Said Jack. Asked so suspiciously. Because there's not, there's not room, not with all my mini babies and their special bed. They weren't real beds. Jack had thirty ten thirteen shoes boxes with paper tissue for bed covers, but Mom acted. Like she thought this way sweet, I thought it was stupid, but I didn't say anything. I, I've got all my football snowers and my rock concert and my warm garden in my bedroom. Rory said quickly. I want to mind sharing my bedroom with Liddy, but I have to warn. Heard that the worms wiggled around a lot. They could just end up in her bed. I decided I'd mind that very much indeed, but I didn't say anything. I stood close to Mom. She knew I want to share her bedroom, but she had said no. Lizzie can't have her. Lizzie can have her very own special bedroom," said Sam. "We can turn my studio into Lizzie's room. My computer can easily fit into our bedroom." "There, are you lucky, Lizzie?" said Mom. "I didn't feel at all lucky." I wonder what sort of bedroom you like, Lizzie. You can choose the color for the walls, and we'll we'll get you curtains and a carpet to match," said Sam. "What about pink? 
Pink's a bit girly," said Mum. "How about red, lazy, or purple?" I like pink, but I didn't say anything. Sam pointed the word purple, and Mum bought red and purple checker curtains and a matching diff. Sam bought a really little red armchair and a purple fluffy log. There, isn't it lovely? What do you say, Lizzie? Said Mum. I didn't say anything. Why? Don't you ever say anything, lady," said Rory. "It's like you've got a zipper across your mouth." "Lazy zip mouth," said Jack giggly. "Can you talk at all?" "Don't call Lizzie silly name," said Sam. "Of course she can talk. She's just feeling a bit shy at the moment." He looked around my new bedroom. How can we make it a bit more homely for Lizzie? What about your dogs? Shall we spread them around the bed? I didn't have that many. They all fit neatly in the driveway. Driver, I wish I still had a flying barbies, but she got left behind when we ran away from that first step. That. I hope she imagined to fly out the window away from him. I wish it was a time to live. This、uh, shit, second step that he was being jury and friendly, but he changed soon. I was still waiting for the shouting to start. I was sure he was just pretending to be kind. I wasn't so sure about Rory. Maybe he will be. He will. He will be. Really was kind. He stuck the wand of his manchure manchure United poster up on my bedroom wall. There. It's the right color," he said. Sam wanted Jack to give me one of his beanie babies. Jack didn't want to be kind. Dear mine," he said. "I don't want to give them to Lizzie the Mouse." Hey, stop that! Stop the name calling," said Sam. "What about the little purple teddy?" He'd like to live in the lizard's room. No, he won't," said Jack. "He hates it. I hate it in my room too. All that bright red and purple hurt my eyes." I opened up my new wardrobe and stuffed myself inside. It was lonely in the wardrobe. I put my slipper on my hand and made them to a、uh, dance in the dark, but I couldn't think of any other games I could play. After a while, I heard Rory calling for me, and then the mom and Sam and even Jack. Lizzie, Lizzie, where are you? Lizzie's a mouse. They shout at the shout. And shout and shout. I still didn't say anything at all. I kept my mouth, my mouth well, and tried to sip. This is end of our chapter book. Bye bye.